How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this redstone basketball on Minecraft. As you can see it is a very simple design and does not involve much redstone at all. So now let me show you how it works. In order to play basketball just grab a block of choice, walk over to the sticky pistons at a fast speed, you can throw your ball and as you can see I just made it. So let's say you were to miss and it landed right here. You can see that the ball just falls back down and you can grab the ball and retry or have the next team try their chance to make the basketball. The only flaw with this design is that let's say you were to miss over here by these torches. Oh, I actually made that one. Let's say you were to miss right here. You can see that the ball will not fall. So you will have to fly up to get it. You can also delete these th three things right here. And have it like that. It's entirely up to you. I like the symmetrical look. So let's go take a look at what we need to build it. To build this you're going to need four stone pressure plates. Three redstone torches. Eight pieces of redstone. One redstone comparator. One redstone repeater one sticky piston, one dropper, one hopper, one lever, one piece of glowstone, one slime block, one carpet of choice, 18 stairs of choice, 80 wooden blocks of choice, 34 blocks of choice, four pieces of immovable block, and one basketball. An immovable block is a block that cannot be pushed or pulled by a sticky or regular piston. As you can see, I am going to be using Obsidian. I'm going to be popping up a list for you guys depending on what server you are on. These lists will only include a few of the many items you can use for removable blocks. start it off you're going to want your staircases as well as your wood planks block of choice. We're going to start by placing in nine staircases just like this. Place all nine in a row. Then on both ends you can grab your block of choice. Then put another row of staircases all the way across. Just make sure they are all facing the same way. Now if we grab our planks, we can go 7 blocks back, 2 high all the way back, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then we can turn and bring them back to where the staircase is at, which should be 8 blocks over, and then you can just fill in the rest of the rectangle. Come on Kyle, get out of here. Next we're going to put a roof on the top, just put a roof all the way throughout and by the way, silly cow. And just keep applying this roof throughout the whole rectangle that we just filled in. Go out there, cow. There we go. Finally left. We can fill the rest in. Now we're going to delete out the hole for where the sticky piston is going to go. So if you go right in the middle and then go the fourth block in, which is right here. So you do the third block, the fourth block, and the fifth block, and then make like a plus sign like that. So it should be three in from both sides here. So three, three, and then two from the front and two from the back. So now we're gonna grab our sticky pistons and our immovable block. Sticky pistons facing upwards with uh, four pieces of redstone, one on each side. Then your immovable block with your pressure plates on all of them and your slime block on top of the piston. So you should have something that looks just like this once you are all done and no matter which sticky piston you hit, the slime block should go up 
If it doesn't go up, make sure you have a piece of redstone below that pressure plate. So now we're going to grab our block of choice for the basketball hoop. And we're going to go five up from the center. So you can delete this one on the bottom. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. And we're going to go up one more and make two on each side just like this. Then you can bring them up. Just like this. So it should be a 5x4 hoop. You can delete out the middle two. Make sure we'll just delete the middle one for now. Put our glowstone in. We can grab our dropper. Put a temporary block right here with our hopper facing down. And then below that hopper, we're going to put our dropper facing downwards. Next, we are going to work on the redstone. First, let's place our carpet here, though, before we forget. So we're going to put blocks of choice, one right here, two over on each side, and you can delete the middle one. Now if we go on the back here, you can delete the block below the glowstone, as well as one more below it, just like this. And then we can place our comparator facing in the back. If it doesn't let you place it, you may have to delete a few blocks out or delete the glowstone. Now we can put our block of choice back right next to the hopper. Go one block over, one block up, then two blocks and two blocks with a piece of redstone right here. Actually, this one's going to be deleted and placed for a redstone torch. And then our repeater is going to go right next to the comparator. Now we can go in the front here and grab a redstone torch as well as on the other side. Then grab your piece of redstone and place them both next to the dropper. So now we're going to grab our lever, go in the back right here, and flip it on to turn this torch off. So that way both torches match. So now if we drop our block in, you can see that only one of the torches lights up. And if you want to get them to match, you'll just have to do a little bit more redstone in the back. So delete the lever. Then we're just going to add on to this redstone line right here to where the lever was. Just grab some redstone. And the redstone should become powered when you put it right there, which it does. Now if we make a basket, it should work. Okay, so it's not turning it on still. Hmm, what's wrong? Is the redstone wire's not too long? Let me see here. It's powered correctly. Repeater strong enough to power the block. Just makes that normal redstone. It turns that into powered redstone. So let me try it one more time. So throw a block in. Okay, so all we need to do is add a few more pieces of redstone and block of choice. Just bring it back, delete these two, and add four pieces of redstone, five pieces of redstone. And now it should work. In sync, perfect. So I actually don't care for this design where they both match, so if you don't like it, just feel free to delete it and put your lever back in the spot where it was. Just make sure you flip that lever, that way it turns off the torch. So that's going to be it. Let's make sure everything works. So what you do is grab your basketball and go on down to the ground here. Get a running start and you can throw the basketball. It should work and dispense it right back out. You should be able to do it from any side where the pressure plate is at. As you can see I just made it from that side. If you do it from the front one right there it gets a little tricky to make it. But let me know in the comments down below if you can make it from the front block. Otherwise, that is going to be it for the video, guys. Be sure to comment down below what you want to see me do next. Be sure to give this video a like. Otherwise, you can follow me on my Instagram at MGSRGaming, and I will see you in the next one. Click on the left to watch a video that YouTube recommends for you, and click on the right to subscribe because there are new videos coming out every other day.